All right, going to be debunking this video by Tommy McMurtry where he's trying to refute dispensationalism. And he says that the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are the same thing. This is the kind of heresy you get into when you're non-dispensational. You have to start merging the two kingdoms together, among other heresies too. So let's get right into this. The kingdom of God are one and the same as well as... Hey everyone, Pastor Tommy McMurtry here again with another video debunking dispensationalism. This particular video it is about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Now I personally believe that the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God are one and the same as well as most dispensationalists believe that but there is a wing of dispensationalists that teach that these are two different kingdoms. Now while I believe that's a very foolish teaching that is easily debunked with scripture even though they have a lot of different arguments that we don't have time to go into but they are very simple to shoot down with just a little bit of scripture. But let me just show you one example out of many examples showing the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God are one and the same and that they are used interchangeably in the Bible. In Matthew 4, 17, it says, from that time began to, uh, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mark 1, 14, now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel that's just one example where they so here's a, a lot of these non dispensational still say well see they're preaching the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven they're preaching both those kingdoms that's because they're both available because the king was on the earth Jesus Christ but once he leaves you don't hear anything about the kingdom of heaven anymore you know, that simple they are used interchangeably and that is done many times in the gospel because they are one and the same. Yet there are people who are desperate to separate these two things. And I'm going to tell you there's a reason they are desperate to separate these two things and that is because it is absolutely necessary if you are going to hang on to a pre-trib and a pro-Jew position you have to separate. The, I mean this just proves the kind of heresy you get into when you're into a post-tribulational rapture. You have to become non-dispensational and you have to teach replacement theology. This right here proves it. Separate the kingdoms. Now, I do. I agree with most dispensationalists that it's foolish to do that. That it's very clear that they are one and the same. But yet, I'm going to show you in this video why you either have to separate them, or you have to keep them one. In the, if you keep them one and the same, it means that your pre-trip position and your pro-Jew position is just dead wrong. There is a reason people are so desperate and will make some of the foolish arguments that they make to claim there are two different kingdoms, just like they claim there are three different gospels. See, dividing the king... Oh, uh, there are. The gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of Christ, which is, which is what we preach today, and the everlasting gospel in the time of Jacob's trouble. I mean, who can't, who can't figure that out? Who can't see that? Kingdoms is an example of what happens when a person's desperate because you back them into a corner. All right, what you, you can watch the whole thing. He just, you know, he primarily uses Gene Kim and Robert Breaker. They just, you know, they're, they're, they got all kinds of problems. But uh, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are not the same thing. Let me show you that. Because later on he tries to say, well, the king, they're saying the kingdom of heaven is a spiritual kingdom. It is spiritual. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's spiritual fellowship with God. That's what the kingdom of God is. Okay? The kingdom of heaven is the physical earthly kingdom. Let me show you that. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. It's physical kingdom. How, how is it able to be taken by force if it's, a, if it's some kind of spiritual thing. It is a physical kingdom. That's how it's able to be taken by force. That simple. So, don't be deceived by this non-dispensational insanity that the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are the same thing. This is one of the many heresies you get into when you're non-dispensational. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Goodbye.